We never forgot about Brittany. We've not forgotten about Paul Whelan, who's been unjustly detained in Russia for years. This was not a choice of which American to bring home. Bullshit. We brought home Trevor Reed when we had a chance earlier this year. Sadly, for totally illegitimate reasons, Russia is treating Paul's case differently than Britney's. Would I lie? He's always blaming somebody else for his failures. Is anyone seriously buying this bullshit? Why does it always seem like Democrats are negotiating in favor of our enemies in these deals? It reminds me of Obama's deal to trade one deserter for five high-ranking Taliban leaders. What a bargain! I suppose that I am happy for both Bergdahl and Brittany because neither of them deserve the treatment that they were given. Although, I will say that Brittany committed an actual crime in Russia, whereas Wayland didn't do anything and is completely innocent. But you're gonna trade her? for Russia's most prolific arms dealer who specifically arms people that target the U.S. during a war with Russia? A war that the American taxpayer is footing the bill for to the tune of billions. Billions that we're not even allowed to audit. What a bargain. Does the Biden regime not understand the threat posed by this guy on any normal given day, much less while we're in a proxy war with Russia? Victor Boot... Uh, in, in my eyes, um, is one of the most dangerous men on the face of the earth. On the face of the earth. Without a doubt. How does Trump get accused of being a Putin stooge? When he's the guy that armed Ukraine when Biden and Obama wouldn't, then warned NATO about their over-reliance on Putin and the U.S., which they claim meant he hated NATO and was trying to break it up. But in the end, he was proven correct. But we shouldn't only rely on that uh, about China or, or any others, we should make sure that we are stronger. And now, I must be very honest, brutally honest with you, Europe isn't strong enough right now. We would be in trouble without the United States involving uh, the, the war in Ukraine. But of course, these same people don't accuse Biden of that, even though, like I said, he refused to arm Ukraine at first. And then he intentionally made the US and Europe over-reliant on Russia for oil. You cannot tell me that Russia just went and trade Paul Whelan, so it's just out of your hands, but then trade a high-value prisoner and get absolutely nothing in return for it. Now, of course, I'm not saying that Britney has no value as a human being. But just that in this context, she's a geopolitical pawn and offers no value in trade. But of course, it wasn't for nothing. It was for intersectionality. It was for the wokest cult and it was for Joe Biden's approval numbers. The truth is she had way more value to the Biden regime and Democrats at large because she's black, gay, and a woman. She ticks off all the boxes of the intersectionality pecking order, which puts a guy like Paul Whelan at the very bottom. But you don't have to take my word for it. Here's what Randy Weingartner, president of the American Federation of Teachers, had to say about the trade. Quote, what a great relief. Extraordinary news. A basketball star, but also a gay black woman is released. And of course, you know, we want the other prisoners like Paul Whelan released. A basketball star. I highly doubt anybody could name her before any of this happened or the name of her team even now. This is an entire other video, but let me just say that I've seen several people in the media already suggest that none of this would have happened to Britney if women were paid equal in basketball. The truth about equal pay in women's basketball is that there shouldn't be. Pay is based on performance, and the fact is women's basketball will never play at the level of men's. Who's going to pay good money to watch a less skilled, less entertaining game? Some will, but most won't. Because of this, men will always make more. This isn't even about gender, because lower leagues will always make less, whether they're men or women. But back to this tweet from the president of the American Federation of Teachers, who seems to be saying the fact Britney is a black gay woman makes her more valuable than the other guy. Who, she doesn't even mention the skin color, gender, or sexual orientation of. Probably because she doesn't think it deserves mentioning, because she thinks it's inferior. Kinda seems like the textbook definition of racism and a bunch of other isms. It's really not hard to see why there's so many deranged teachers out there when they have this woman leading them. So I'm happy for Brittany. I'm glad she's home. She definitely didn't deserve to be in a hard labor Russian prison camp for the possession of weed. But what a bad deal. That's also tarnished by the fact that it was obviously driven by this racial hierarchy that's been created and enforced by woke supremacists. All right, that's all I have to say about that. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and leave a comment. Thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.